It has now become a regular action that the English-speaking regions of the northwest and the southwest of Cameroon witness ghost towns every Mondays as from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The rule is simple. Every business is expected to stay shut and taxis are not expected to be in motion as well. On Monday, February 27, 2017, except for a few petty businesses, shops stayed shut as usual. However, a few taxis went about their businesses contrary to how it was two weeks ago when only 20 taxis were functional. Taxis which the Boya Council through the mayor Patrick Ekema bought as a means to frustrate the Anglophone strike action. More and more taxi drivers are beginning not to respect the ghost town, contrary to shop owners who fear to open as a few defaulters had had their shops burned down at mile 17 for not respecting the ghost town. The actions of the taxi driver is thought by many to be as a result of government's vigorous effort to disinform the Anglophone region by cutting them off internet services for over two months, which was their only reliable means of coordination. Limbe, on the other hand, especially at half mile, went about its activities as usual. The divisional officer and other government officials of the city threatened business owners to shut down businesses that did not operate in view of respecting the ghost town. As for schools, a few coerced teachers are obliged to go to work every day even though no pupils ever go near the school compounds. As for the University of Boya, the most prominent higher institution of the region, a few francophones have been attending classes since last week.